Introducing the Orange Pi 5 Pro, one of the most powerful SBCs on the market today. It sports a Rockchip 3588S processor, built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, a plug for your fan, a plug for your real-time clock. It's clocked at 2.4 gigahertz, comes with LPDDR5 memory up to 4, 8, and 16 gigabytes, has an M.2 NVMe slot, an SD card slot, and a slot to plug in your own EEMC module. One USB 3 and three USB 2 ports can support up to one gigabit ethernet port and support for power over ethernet. Power supply USB-C port, dual full-sized HDMI port, a headphone jack, and full 40 pin GPIO. Now getting this guy to boot is fairly simple. And although not as easy as let's say a Raspberry Pi, it's still a wonderful Raspberry Pi alternative. Now, if you put the Orange Pi 5 Pro next to a Raspberry Pi, you can tell that it's slightly larger, but it still holds true to the card-sized form factor. And in my opinion, has way more IO than the Raspberry Pi 5, for example. Now, to get this booted, we'll head over to the Orange Pi site, orangepi.org, find Orange Pi 5 Pro, click downward, and go to official images. There you'll find numerous types of compatible images. For this video, we're gonna download Orange Pi OS art and using Bellina Etcher, we're going to flash it onto this SD card. Now keep in mind, just to start, we're going to flash it to an SD card. Later on, we'll be able to move it to boot from the NVMe drive. Simply plug the USB-C to the power supply and an HDMI cable, and you should see it light up immediately. Now we've already set up our profile, so we're gonna log in. And there you have it, a full desktop image. Now, mind you, this is a very powerful SVC, capable of decoding at 8K 60fps, and perfect for AI projects, tablet projects, edge computing, home server projects, and cloud computing. And mind you, the processor is a 64-bit ARM quad-core Cortex-A76 quad-core Cortex-A55. So it's basically around three times faster than a Raspberry Pi 5, for example. It also comes with two slots for AI vision projects. At first, I got this thinking I'd build a mini NAS, but it does have a very capable GPU, so I might turn this into a mini gaming console to play retro games. But for right now, I'm using it just to run Orange Pi Arc. And applications run really, really fast. So if you're just getting into SBCs and want a good, decent Raspberry Pi alternative, the Orange Pi 5 and many of its different variations are probably the best pick for you. Soon we'll discuss how to boot from your NVMe drive instead of your SD card and EMMC in another video. Till next time, thanks for watching.